Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my RC life. Today, I'm going to show you how to rebuild a Traxxas Valenium brushless motor. Let's go! What's going on, everybody? I'm Traxxas Mike from my RC life. Um, it's the day after Christmas, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to rebuild a Valenian motor, a stock Traxxas Valenian motor. Um, as you can see, this is my very first piece of merch I've ever had. No, it's not available to anybody. I just got it given to me as a Christmas present. I actually had to turn it on backwards because this is on the back of the shirt. But yeah, my uh, niece gave it to me for Christmas. Thank you, Taylor. Yeah, I'm really, really proud of this shirt. So without any further ado, let's get to the rebuilding. Okay, I've had this motor for probably, well, over 10 years. Once in a while, I'll hear it make a little grumble when I spin it. And it gets a little warmer than my other, I have another one of these, uh, in Casey's uh, Rustler. And it this runs quite a bit hotter than the Rustler. So yeah, I'm thinking the bearings are starting to go bad. So... How you rebuild it is, first, you'll see it's got like a couple spots. One here, here. You can get a screwdriver up underneath it. And you're going to see there's a, a screw be, beyond underneath there too. See in each one of those little spots there's a button head Allen screw. All right, you get that off. If there's any dirt or debris, you're going to want to clean that off. Get it all cleaned up. Cleaned up your end cap here. Um, I have rebuilt this motor before. Uh, you can see I put a piece of uh, foil tape back there because it was starting to push through the back side of this cap. After you get that done, you got uh, three Allen heads. I do believe it's three. I actually think it's supposed to be four, but I think uh, mine didn't get the fourth one put in it at some point in time. All right. So simply just take these out. Then after that, you can get this end bell off. Clean anything up here. Then you just pu simply push on your rotor and it's gonna be kind of hard as it starts to come out. Like it's gonna wanna shove back in every time. See that? But yeah, get a hold of it. Pull that sucker out. You're gonna wanna clean this up really good. Inspect it for any type of damage or anything. If there's any damage on your rotor, you can buy just this rotor for pretty cheap or whatever. Inspect your can or anything for damage. Uh, clean up inside of here. Now this is rubber here. You don't want to tear that up. But I'm just going to take this wire brush and slightly kind of clean up a little bit of stuff without breaking anything. Look down inside of your winding. Make sure none of your winding is coming apart. Any little wires straggling in there. Stick your finger in there and feel around. This seems A-OK. -okay. okay, now the next thing you want to do is pull out your bearing. Now, I can stick my rotor in here. I'm getting quite a little bit of play there. So I'm gonna to wanna to drop that bearing out of there. Now it's gonna come out this way. So what I'm gonna do is just sit this on the vise like this. Now this might not be the perf perfect way to do this if you have something that fits perfectly in here. Oh, here we go. I was gonna take and use my Allen head here and just 
tap, tap. Move it over on this side, tap, tap, because I've done that before. But if you can get something like this that lines right up in the center, you know, something bigger, that's probably better. And if you use a hammer, it's probably better too. But yeah, it comes out really nice and easy. Now this bearing, I mean, it ain't shot, but it's got quite a bit of movement on there. All right, now there's a second bearing right in here. So we're gonna wanna set it up and do something similar as we did on that other one. All right, knocked it right out. Now these bearings are both the same size. Let's see how this one feels. Now this one don't feel as bad as the other one, but it's got a little bit of slop. All right, now you can order a rebuild kit right from Traxxas. It'll come with two bearings and uh, maybe possibly an end cap or something. I don't know if it just comes with the bearings or the end cap. I've never bought them that way. I've always went and bought like a fast eddy kit. Um, right here, 4611 metal shielded replacement bearings. Five by 11 by four. Comes with 20 of them. And this wasn't very, very much money. And a lot of these bearings get used on like wheels and hubs and stuff on Traxxas vehicles. So it's nice to have a, a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna pull two of these out of here. As you can see, they're the same exact size. Now when I put these on the end of the rotor, see there ain't no slop like there was on these. And it, when it's in your hand, you can feel it. You might not be able to see it as much on the camera, but you can definitely feel it when it's in your hand. So now, you're gonna wanna take your old ones. If you wanna save these for like maybe a wheel hub application or something, you can. I'm going to because they're not shot. They're just not efficient enough to be in my brushless motor anymore. So I'll save those. I'm gonna make sure this is all cleaned out. I don't have any uh, brake cleaner or nothing up here, but it's a good thing to do right now if you have any brake cleaner to clean some of this stuff out. What I do have is some uh, isopropyl and a Q-tip. Kind of clean this all out. I'm gonna clean out where the bearing sits down. It. See, look at very dirty. I'm just trying to use your head on this, you know. If you have pressurized air, that's also a good thing to do. <sighs> Hit it with some pressurized air. Looks like I got her pretty good and cleaned up there. All right, we're gonna take one of our bearings. <sighs> and just kinda try to start it in there. Decently even, which I have not done. <laughs> got a small little hammer that works. It's gonna pound all around in a circle, or this side, then this side, then this side, then this side, however you wanna do it, just to make sure it sits down easy. Don't just slam it with a hammer, cause you could tear up your bearing uh, surface there. Okay, looks like it went all the way down in there to me. Finish it off maybe with a good couple thuds, just to make sure it went all the way in there. Now this one may be tricky. We gotta do the same thing, but down in here. I think this is how I did it before. I stuck it on the rotor, and then I went ahead and installed the rotor, and that started the bearing in there. Yes sir, it sure did. But you can see the bearing isn't all the way seated. So then you're gonna wanna sit this on your vise or whatever you have. I set that right in there. Make sure it's going straight. 
Looks like it's going pretty straight to me. All right, let's keep going with this. Okay, you could almost hear that it set all the way down in there. All right, I'm gonna give her a couple more. All right, so that one's all the way in there. Now we're gonna want to uh, put our rotor in there again. Make sure this is all cleaned off on both ends before you stick it back in there. And it's gonna to wanna to try to pull it right out of your hands like this. <laughs> it almost installs itself, you know? Okay, and right now it's gonna feel like tight because you don't have your end bell on yet. When you have your end bell on, it'll center this and it'll spin freely. Make sure your ABCs are pointing up there or just make sure your holes are aligned or, or whatever. Now, spins freely. Put your bolts back in. Like I said, I only have three. But there is a fourth spot there. All right, next step. Just gonna wanna put your end bell back on. I'm just gonna snap on there. All right, guys, there you go. Motor is rebuilt. It's that easy. All right, if there's any other stuff you wanna learn how to do, uh, leave a comment below uh, recommending or suggesting um, things I ought to show you guys how to do. I'm Traxxas Mike from My RC Life, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and uh, a Happy New Year. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a question or comment below. I'll see you later.